I like to say that YouTube is the world's largest stage. It's a virtual stage. And if you're a speaker, you might be having trouble right now getting onto actual stages. So in this video, what I'm gonna share with you is on a Mac, how to just using the software that's built into your Mac, take a PowerPoint presentation and turn it into a movie with your voice so that you can upload it to YouTube and share it with the world. Now I have another video up here that you can click if you want to do this once again on a Mac, but you want your face to show up. And I highly encourage you to do that if you're a speaker, you want people to know who you are, not just the information you're sharing. However, in this video, I'm just covering putting your PowerPoint or keynote presentation uh, up on YouTube uh, without you being visible on screen. I'm Brighton West and I help professional coaches and others use online video to promote their business. So if that's you, be sure to click the subscribe button down below and the little bell icon to get notified of my future videos. But let's jump right in to recording your video, your PowerPoint presentation into video, and then we'll upload it to YouTube after that. I've opened up, I've actually got Keynote on my computer, which is just the Apple version of PowerPoint and I've got the presentation ready to go. I'm gonna go down and open up QuickTime Player. Now I'm not sure why they call it QuickTime Player because it actually does recording too, but it's all on every Macintosh QuickTime Player. Open that up. And one thing about QuickTime Player that's a little bit uh, strange is that you don't see it open. There's nothing new on the screen except for the menu bar across the top. So be sure to look for that menu bar, make sure it says QuickTime Player, and then click on File. And you'll have a couple of options here. Movie recording is if you wanna record from your webcam, audio, of course, from your microphone. But we're gonna do a new screen recording so that we're able to pick up that PowerPoint presentation. Now you'll see across the bottom of the screen here, we've got some options. You can tell it uh, which portion of the screen to record. And I'm going to say record the entire screen. Then I'll also head over here to options and pick the microphone. So uh, you can pick a built-in microphone. I've got, uh, this is the, the Yeti stereo microphone. So this is actually a pretty high quality microphone. I'm gonna use that one as part of this recording. But you need to make sure that you click the microphone or if it's set to none, you're not gonna get your voice. So when you're ready, you're gonna see this little camera icon and just left click your mouse button and it starts the recording. You can see um, up in the uh, the toolbar here this icon is showing that this is the quicktime player recording and you'll also see that 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 uh, menu bar across the bottom or the toolbar disappeared so now what we'll do is we'll go into uh, into keynote and play our slideshow starting with the first slide so let me hit play here so everything I do now is being recorded by QuickTime, my voice and what's on my screen. So I'll just go through my presentation like I would normally. So the presentation starts with fade away and screen flow. This is another video that I did recently. And there's a little animation at the beginning of my presentation. Uh, and you can go through just slide by slide talking about what is in your presentation and it's going to include any animations um, that you've got built into your slideshow. And there we go, that's the extent of my slideshow. So when you're done, you're gonna head up to the top again and you'll click that same icon that I showed you earlier, but because of the way I'm recording my screen right now for this video, um, I've got the, the screen really blown up large. So I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut of Command, Control, and Escape. And up pops the video that I just recorded. So you can play the video here, you can scrub across it, you can kind of see what's uh, what's been recorded. You can also play it and hear what's being record what's been recorded. Here, this icon is showing that this is the quick time. You can see it there. Uh, and so now, what you're going to want to do is do a quick trim on this to get rid of that awkward beginning where you were just starting and the awkward end where you were pushing stop. So go up to to the QuickTime Player uh, menu up here. Go to Edit and then Trim. And then you'll see this, this is actually the exact same as you would see on an iPhone. Uh, across the bottom, you're seeing the player. You can move this red line back and forth to see. And these yellow bars here, you can pull it back and forth to 
trim off the beginning and the end of your presentation. So you're going to go until you see your presentation on the screen. There we go. And then the same on the other side where we've got kind of where we've stopped. Go to the end of your presentation. There we go. That's the end of the presentation and click trim. So now if you go from the beginning to the end, we're not seeing any of that stuff where we started out on screen with, with uh, kind of the behind the scenes stuff. We're only seeing and hearing the actual presentation. So now you go into file and you'll export this. You can choose different sizes. So I suggest 1080p is a great size for YouTube. And just choose something here. So I will choose, um, this is my PowerPoint presentation for YouTube. It's going to take a few minutes to save that out to your hard drive. And then once you're complete with that, just head over to Chrome and open youtube.com. And I'm logged in here with one of my accounts and I can see my avatar in the upper right hand corner. If you don't have an account for YouTube, that's okay. When you go to this next step, um, whenever you get onto YouTube, you should be able to see this camera icon with a plus signal. And if you hover over, it says create a video and more. Click on that and then upload video. Now, if you don't have an account yet or you're not signed into account, it'll ask you to sign in. Uh, if you don't have that, you can say, you know, create an account down below uh, or use a different account and then the next next um, page has the create an account, but you can set up a YouTube account. They're completely free. So then it's going to ask you what file do you want to upload? And you can just drag and drop it, but I put this one on my PowerPoint presentation for YouTube. It's going to upload and you will have, you'll go through here. You can give it a title, get it a description. I've got a great video for this. You can look in the upper right hand corner. Now there's a link that you can click on. Um, I'll also show a link to that at the end uh, about what you should be putting in here to get found on YouTube. So uploading a video to YouTube um, is kind of just the beginning of building an audience on YouTube. So I've got some, uh, some videos about that too. We're going to scoot through. Uh, you can go through each of these one by one, but I'm going to really go down to visibility and talk about this. You can make this public right away as soon as you finish here. I like to make it private and then go in and make those little tweaks in terms of the tags and description and whatnot. Um, and then when you're ready, you can go down to the lower right hand corner, which is a little hidden here on my screen. Um, and there's a save button down here. If you'll trust me, you click save and depending on how you set that, it will be either ready for the world or I'm going to hit close here. When you go into your YouTube channel, <laughs> when you go into your YouTube channel, your YouTube studio here, uh, you'll find YouTube studio, by the way, when you click on your avatar. If you're not already in the YouTube studio, you would see YouTube studio listed here, but I'm already in it. If you go to videos here, you'll see your presentation. And if you want to do anything to it, this is the screen you'll use. Just go to go to details and then you can go in and change the visibility and whatnot. Um, so now is actually a great time for you to go and watch one of those other videos. I've got a video here where you can watch about uh, recording via ScreenFlow. So you can record a video along with your PowerPoint presentation. I highly recommend that or head down here where you can see what to do next. Once you've uploaded your video, how to get it found on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.